Welcome back to the channel. And today we're here to talk about Emeka Emisi. I had to make sure I said that right. Uh, wide receiver from NC State, another UDFA um, free agent, uh, another UDFA wide receiver signing for the Baltimore Ravens. Let's get started. <laughs> subscribe so you can be notified and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when these videos drop. I want to say thank you before we start to all the members of the Patreon, uh, PayPal, and the Cash App. And uh, let's get in the video. Alright, uh, Emeka Emizi. E-E is -E, so what we're going to call him for. So I won't keep butchering his name. Uh, top receiver right here. Another 6'3 receiver from NC State. So again, like I told you yesterday, we we're looking for a certain body type in these UDFA um, receivers. And let's uh, get into this game versus Clemson. And I think I have a few clips from Wake Forest also. This is against Andrew Boo. Little screen. So you can get, you know, get in the screen game. He's a little bit more explosive with the ball in his hand than um, Pope. So he can kind of, he'll probably get you more yards out of this type of play than Pope will. Not saying Pope won't get you yards because he's a little bit more explosive. But the screen game, definitely can use him in the screen game if people try to load the box on him and uh, go from there if he makes the team. Let's go to play two. Measy right here. Arrow points him out. Again, Booth is right there also. One of my favorite little concepts, a little snag concept. Now, again, the three yard route. Get you some yak because he's a bigger guy. And even if he is here to tackle on him, he can fall forward for two or three yards. But this is like a three yard route. You know, getting about seven, eight yards. I love this concept. I really do. And, you know, if you've been here with, rocking with me for a while, you know I love it. Bam. See right there. Play off this defender right here. Give him the ball quick. See if he can make something happen. See if he can make something happen. And I love it into the boundary also. Let's go to play three. Right here against Booth solo one-on-one. -on -one. I think this is a jump ball. Mm, Booth did a good job. I think he went inside too much. Well, he, he, he went down in here too much. Went down in here a little bit too much. You really want to pop, 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 and then fade. But he went kind of inside the numbers, then tried to push back out. And Booth had the, 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 um, the jump on him, so to speak. Just wrapped him up. Didn't give the quarterback much room. Be too far inside. Too far inside. Now I try to get back outside. He had to fight through Booth while also widening out and fighting with the sideline too. Quarterback don't have much room to throw that ball. Let's go to the next play. Which I think is the very next play in the game and he learned from it. Isolated again over there with Booth. Don't go as far inside, kind of push it straight up, and now starts to fade out. And what happened to my play? I cut it off. We know on this play, this is what happens. He doesn't fade, he doesn't dive in here like he did the last time. He kind of foot fires him and fades out, and he catches the ball right here. He catches the ball on Booth, Andrew Booth, who's another um, high level cornerback. How did I cut this off? What did I redo? Sorry about that. One. Sorry about that. One. So now we're at the bottom of the screen. And this is not Booth. I think this is Booth up here. Getting the curl route. And we watched a lot of curl routes from um, Polk also. But this one is not as crisp, but it's not as bad either. It's not bad either. I would have loved to see him to come out here and widen this dude. Then curl up in there. But he widens out and he just runs around and sits. Difference is with Pope, Pope was working back to the ball. He just kind of sits in the open area. Nothing wrong with the route, just a little nuance, you know, the, the difference, the differentiate between the two guys we talked about. Just want to play six. All right, top of your screen up here. Let's 
Good job of stacking. Can't get rid of them though. There's not enough new ones in it to be the high level corner. He tries to throw him by, but he's on top of him. There's not enough new ones in this route to beat him. There's not enough new ones. Not enough. Booth won that route. Going to play seven. Got the bottom of the screen. Now, this play doesn't look like a win, but it is. Doesn't look like a win, but it is. Give him a little something off the ball. Alright, my bad. Mm-mm. Trying to wipe you, you would ideally you would want him to try to turn his hips that way. So he's trying to go, he want to pop there, then go inside. He tries that with that step. He just didn't turn it. Great job of keeping his hip. And I know it's, it's not a film on the cornerback, but that's a great job of staying square. Now he's trying to get inside. He uses that arm to get inside. And because he's 6'3", and he does a good job with his frame, the quarterback throws him a good ball. The DB is in a bad position because he's letting him get inside, and so all he can do is grab now. So, yeah, he don't catch this ball, but it's pass interference. Now they get the ball at the one-yard line. So that's, that's a win for him. Even though he don't catch the ball, being able to body control and get inside a guy that's trying to take away the inside, that, that's a good thing. Play eight. Uh, let's see. I think it's him at the top. It's a good little route. Good little route. He's going to come off, push it in a little bit, stick, and push it out. Push it in a little bit, stick. Now, Good job of sinking them hips and getting out that break because the DB is still pointed this way, and he's going that way. It's a good route. Ball should be out, though, quarterback. Ball should be already right in flight. Does a good job of getting, getting it and securing it, but not, but he was secured with his body, though. He's wide open. Catch that ball with your hands. See what I'm saying? No, he's not close to you. Hands catch that. Hands catch that. Get up the field. Get out of bounds. Whatever you're going to do. Play nine. Top your screen again. Good little double move. I love it. And now he the ball's thrown down here, so don't worry about where the ball going. Watch our guy up here at the top. Watch this double move. And he hit him with the out a couple plays before. He hit him with that out, you know, to make him think about it. You know, it's on his mind now. Uh. Okay, I got to break on his out. That's what he decides to do. Right on by him. Right on by him. Yeah, they throw it at the bottom. They throw it up. If they, yes, they threw it to the bottom. But if they throw it to the top, they have a touchdown. That's a great route by EE. -E. It means it. Great route. Play 10. Bottom up screen. We didn't have guys to do this last year. We didn't have guys to do this last year. That's why we got. All these UDFAs are 6 3 and up, except for uh, Bolden from Alabama. We didn't have guys that you can just throw it up and go say, go get it. We had to work. This is easy for the quarterback. We had to work for every touchdown we got. They had to be schemed up right. The route had to be ran right. They had to be thrown perfect. You got to give your quarterback the opportunity to do some of this. And not saying that Lamar can't. We just didn't have the bodies to. Say, hey, go run a fade ball. You get one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to throw you a 50-50. Go get it. That's why these type of dudes in camp, for reasons like this. If he can do this consistently, and word is consistently, if he can do this consistently, he'll have a spot on the team, whether it be on the 53 or the, or the practice squad. But he got to be able to do this consistently because we didn't have – our quarterback didn't have the opportunity to throw a lot of these last year. And, it, you know, if you remember him being able to throw one of these before he got hurt, Please put it in the comment section because I just don't remember any of them. I don't remember him having the opportunity to say, hey, I'm going to throw this jump ball to you if you get one-on-one -on -one coverage. Beat your man. Just don't. Every, every, quarter, every touchdown Lamar had to get was worked hard for. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys for coming through. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. 
Uh, enjoy your Friday night. And again, thank you to all the people that contribute to the channel. We're growing constantly. Uh, it's a good couple to, uh, good couple weeks, and let's let's keep the uh, the ball rolling. So again, thank you. Enjoy your Friday night. And see you soon with Devon Williams. Um, I think Devon's gonna be the last UDFA I do, but especially UDFA wide receiver, because that's the one everybody loves. But out of the two I've done so far, I like uh, Emizi, but I really like Polk better. So um, that's my two cents. And put who you like better in the comment section out of Polk, Emizi, and Williams. And Williams will be coming up soon. Peace.